Welcome back everybody, yet another video with me, uh, Jonas Andersson and, and today I'm going to focus on tying uh, sea trout flies for, for the coast. Um, I'm going down in May on the west coast of Sweden to fish for, for sea trout. It's going to be very very nice, uh, we're going to use uh, flute tubes and, and a big boat. Um, so we're going to make a video of that hopefully. So today I'm going to do a few very light uh, um, uh, patterns, uh, a few in between and a few dark patterns. I have everything uh, I need uh, uh, for, for that trip. So let's begin. So first of all we're gonna have a good hook. Uh, I'm using the T TMCO, uh, TMC 811S size 4. Um, and for the background noise, uh, yeah, I'm brewing my mead in the background, so sorry for that. But let's begin. Um, gear speed thread. So. And I'm attaching some ice, some very, very light weight. Going backwards. There we are. So first of all, salmon pink marabou. I like the color. I'm gonna use white. I'm gonna use uh, pink, and I'm gonna use black and brown, most likely. But I'm gonna do a few here. Just cutting the ends off a little bit, and then we have a nice bunch of marabou. So I'm just gonna tie it in. forward and then back again with the thread so now I can cut off all the leftovers in the front There we are. So, just to give it a little bit bling, I have uh, the Uwe White Crystal Flash that I like. So, I'm going to tie it in. Two strands of each side. And then folding it over to the other side. Going back with the thread and tie that one in. Not too much. Rubber legs is funny. I like rubber legs. So. I'm going to tie in one strand on each side. Let's cut that off. Easier to tie in that way. And I just tie it in a few turns. Cut the leftover. The same on the other side.
there we are. And I change color of legs, you know, I take the ones I like currently. And there we are. Then for the body, I use a fine UV ice uh, dubbing from Subai. In this case, it's going to be pink. loosely so I can brush it out afterwards and now I'm gonna add shrimp pies side as well just cutting the leftovers there and then a little bit more dubbing don't need much Fly starting to come together, and then I was gonna take uh, a duck feather uh, and uh, wrap a few turns, and then the fly is ready. Super simple, super effective, and uh, fish well. So, a few wraps as I mentioned, without uh, hooking myself in the finger, hopefully. That's basically it. So let me all go back with the thread, tying it in properly, and then just cut the leftovers again. And just going back and forward. Over the head here to secure the tying point. Then a bit of varnish. Yeah, you can use whatever you like with the glue. Well, yeah, up to you guys. And I always use varnish. So I'm gonna varnish it a few times later. I just want you guys to see the fly first and then I'm gonna continue with a little bit um, darker version of it. And then the best tool ever Brush it out. Mm. 
than they are. Very effective pattern. So let's start with the next one. Okay, so another pattern, uh, same style flying. But I'm just going to change the colors a little bit, a darker version. Going more with brown, orange. Later I'm going to do like white, pink and brown, black etc. But I don't need to show all those uh, flies in the videos. I just do this one. On top of the other one I already did. Same hook, uh, TMC 811S, saltwater hook. So just going backwards, we're gonna tie in the, the marabou. Somewhere there. Just a drop of varnish on top of that head, of the eyes. Let me see, Marabou, I think I go with brown, yeah. So I'm just removing the parts in the back. a bunch here for the tail of the fly so I'm just gonna tie it in The bubbling back, uh, background noise is my mead, as I mentioned earlier. It will be ready in yeah, maybe two or three weeks. And then I'm gonna store it on bottles for another month. So there we are. Um, rubber legs. color this time like orange glitter something there we are crystal flash I think you had something here no there we are on one side and two on the other one. Nothing difficult. I like uh, to keep my fishing flies very simple. And then I just pull one strand so it's a little bit longer than the other one. And then I do the same on the other side. There we 
Yeah. Just some flashes attached. Get the leftovers. I know the ice dubbing orange Subai. I like this one. It gives a really, really nice shine to the fly. Sorry, I forgot to turn off the sound on the telephone. All the messages are popping in. So there we are, a little bit more. some shrimp pies just cut it off and same on the other side more dubbing and then you can just brush it out so that's why I put it on quite loosely and then I have some really nice colored teal the lovely brown color to the thread and tying that one in. Cutting the leftovers here. in the finger Brush a little bit. finish off the head and 
or two turns and then varnish. And I'm gonna look for a longer feather on the next flight, add a little bit more hackle to the head, but this one is sufficient. And there we are. So I'm gonna take a, a few pictures of the flies when uh, I'm done tying. See, you can see the variation you can do yourself. So that, that's how I tie this uh, model of uh, sea trout flies. Uh, I like them. Uh, they're very efficient, uh, easy to cast, easy to fish, uh, easy to tie and uh, you can combine them in any color uh, you want um, i hope you enjoyed the video and i'm gonna add the subscribe button here and also um, link to other videos there uh, in case you're interested um, so thanks a lot for watching thanks uh, for all your support and uh, see you in the next video